What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skaima, and I'm back with another movie trailer review. And for this video, I'll be talking about for the upcoming film, Spider-Man Cross the Spideyverse. I re saw this trailer like a couple of times, and I just want to say that it was pretty good. I really liked it. I like all that motion, the drama, the action, the background theme. And I'm so glad that we're going to get a second part of this film with the story of Miles Morales. And I want to say that that kid, he's not that bad playing as Spider-Man. So I was so glad that we get another movie from Miles Morales. So I'm going to talk about only a little bit what I saw in the trailer that I really like, including the funny parts. Like... When Miles' parents came to the school talking about his grades, and then he just rushed to the office, said he got an A, and then he got a B on Spanish, and his mom was getting mad. So we're going to see his mom, and we're going to see Spider-Man 2099, and some other ones that we have not seen before. And also they add some new characters to the Spideyverse. How cool is that? Yeah, that was funny. That his mom said, listen to me. Like he got screwed, that he got B on that class. And then he just sends the spots. And around the store, that's when Miles meets the spot. That's his name. And I just want to say that that supervillain, he does look pretty cool. I do like his powers, but the name is kind of funny. Like he was stealing money from that machine. And then Miles was right there eating something. I don't know what he was eating. So I wish he said like, well, you should be a Dalmatian or a cow. And that's what he said. Um, the spots. And there he starts to laugh. And then he was spitting out, I think, was food? I'm not sure. But he told him that stop. Okay, that was a funny part right there. And then later on, that's when Spider-Gwen comes out. And he takes Miles to the Spideyverse. That there's a lot of bunch of Spider-Mans in different universe. Okay, I think that this film is going to be way better from the first part that it came out in 2018. Well, I do like Into the Spider-Verse, but this one, I believe is going to be much better than Into the Spider-Verse. And later on, that's when Peter Parker comes. But there was something new about him. And that is that he had a baby with MJ. And that baby also has Spidey powers because that baby was climbing and then was shooting webs all around and That was pretty funny too, but I don't know who was that other spider-man, but I think he was speaking Spanish I'm not sure because I was watching the trailer like a couple of times like a couple of weeks ago I can't really remember but he was speaking Spanish. I think like he's the head leader to the world But we're not sure but I do like that afro spider-man woman she does look very awesome. I do like the detail and the design they give her. The detail is her afro hair. That is very awesome. And I found a figure out of her when I went to Toys in the Box. And the figure does look good. So maybe I am going to buy her on my next toy hunt when I go to Target or go to Toys in the Box. Whatever they sell that figure, I'm going to buy it right there in the spot no matter what. But yeah. That character does looks amazing. And here's when things got a little bit tougher. I don't know who was talking to Miles that being Spider-Man is a sacrifice. I don't know what that meant. Party meant that every Spider-Man has a loss in their own world. Like Peter Parker lost Uncle Ben. Gwen Stacy lost Peter Parker in her world because we're going to get that exact same scene from the first film. And Miles lost his uncle, a.k.a. the Prowler. So maybe that's what it meant. And then that's when that Peter Parker, I don't know who was talking to Miles that there's two, you have a choice to save one person from other worlds. And that's when Miles said, get me out. And then that Spider-Man said, I can't do that. Then he said he can do both. And that's when Peter Parker said that it wasn't for Uncle Ben some of us were not even be here. I don't know what Uncle Ben has to do about that. But 
around the ending, that's when things got a little bit funny. Because that Spider-Man, the head leader Spider-Man, told all the Spider-Men to go after Miles Morales' Spider-Man. But he did not say that. He said, go after that Spider-Man. And all the Spider-Men were looking at each other saying, you, me, me, him, oh, you, me, me. And then all the Spider-Men went after Miles. And that's when things got a little bit interested. Like I said, I bet that this film is going to be way better than the first part that just came out. I'm so excited to see Spider-Man 2099 and that other Spider-Man that I just mentioned that she has Afro. I can't wait to see her. And I can't wait to see Spider-Gwen in that film because I'm still a fan of Spider-Gwen. And let's see how this film's going to go out. Because I, like I said, I did like everything what I just saw on the trailer. Ah, I'm so excited because tomorrow is going to come out. So, which Spider-Man is your favorite one? Let me know in the comments down below. Me is Spider-Gwen. Alright, so, this is all for today, guys. Oh, yeah. One more thing when I saw on the trailer that there was one Spider-Man. It was Therapist. And then there's the other Spider-Man saying that when I saw Uncle Ben, I was just crying. And then that's when Miles and the rest of the Spider-Mans, poof, came out from the wall. Now that did make me laugh. Boy, the trailer was awesome. Okay, guys, so this stuff for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share it, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And I got you guys on the next one. So take care and be safe. This is Ian Sukaima, and he's out in line.